some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in Virginia with a softard who believes his vehicle is exempt from uh, getting a plate because, you know, he has classified it as farm equipment. But according to Virginia state law, uh, there are only certain vehicles that can be classified as farm equipment. And since his vehicle is obviously a Ford Mustang, it would not qualify in uh, Virginia law as something that could be classified as farm equipment. But that doesn't stop him from arguing his point about his Mustang being farm equipment. So at any rate, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Do you have a valid driver's license Um, everything that I have is right there. Do you have a valid driver's license? I reserve my right not to answer any questions at this time. Okay. And like I said, everything, I'm, I'm not trying to be a pain. And um, just so you know, um, I'm a peaceful guy. Um, I, if you want me to like uh, like get out at any point or if you plan on taking me into custody. Okay, well, if, if you do, just know I'm peaceful. There'll be no need for you to use any force of any kind. I'll comply to any lawful order given. Okay? Lawful order right there. Uh, yeah, he's going to be playing those word games right there, considering that uh, that phrase is used by uh, softards and uh, frauditors, because you know what? A lot of them don't consider what officers have to say lawful orders. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, hey, listen, do you have, a, do you have any documentation for the vehicle or anything with a VIN number on it? Um, the vehicle is not technically what y'all would consider like a, a motor vehicle per se. It is my car. It is titled to me. Um, I don't believe that I have the title with me. I think it's in my safe at the house. Yeah, let me go ahead and translate that for you. I am a brain-dead softard who doesn't have registration because I don't think the laws in the state or the country say that I have to have them even though I haven't actually looked into it, because you know what? Why should I? I'm, I don't have that much brain cells left in my head. Therefore, why should I even bother to bring my title? Because you know what? I'm not going to be pulled over by any officers who think they know more than I do. Do you have any documentation at all for the I can check and see for you, but, but like I say, if this is an automobile, it doesn't follow under the purview of the Motor Vehicle Code. Well, gee, according to the standard legal definitions, it is an automobile, vehicle, or whatever you want to call it. it. You still have to have it licensed, insured, and tagged. And according to Virginia's definitions, it's pretty much the same thing. You are driving an automobile, vehicle, or whatever, according to Virginia state laws. Oh, yeah, and for the sake of the I'm not a tra driver, I'm a traveler argument, uh, here you go. Here's the Virginia uh, definition of driver or operator. So let's keep that covered just in case. Um, I have, this is the Constitution of the United States. Well, I, I, I just said all this. I'm just asking if you have a documentation for the vehicle. Um, I, I don't believe I have it on me, no. Okay. Um, this, like I said, this is just a car, sir. It's just a piece of property. It's not registered. Okay. The registration, um, like the tags that are on it or, or the tags that I have for it, they simply say uh, exempt. So this is private property, and I do reserve all my private property rights at this time. Um, what's your personnel number, sir? My personnel? My badge number anymore? Yes, sir. Uh, 318. 318? Virginia Beach, yes, and how do you pronounce your name? Jenny John. Jenny John? Jenny John. Jenny John, okay. Thank you, sir. What are you guys doing today? And then what was your name, sir? I didn't get your name. A-L-B-R-I-G-H-T. I don't shake hands. Okay. I don't know, sir. Understandable. I have no idea whether or not you have any kind of curable diseases. <laughs> I hope not. Okay. We're going to take a closer look at your vehicle to see if there's a VIN on it. Okay. okay. For starters. Okay. The VIN plate that's on the dashboard, which is supposed to be viewable by any law enforcement agency or any inspecting agency, has been blocked with some kind of tape device. Okay. Is, is the VIN plate on your door still intact? Um, yes, it is. Okay. Is the VIN plate on the firewall of your vehicle still intact? Um, it should be. Okay. I haven't uh, modified or changed the v uh, car in any way. The automobile is how I guess it was from the factory. 
Okay. The first document I want to issue to you, sir, is a Virginia Uniform notification okay. indicating that your privilege is driving the Commonwealth or suspended, which means you cannot operate a motor vehicle on these highways in the Commonwealth. Okay. Whether you choose to drive anywhere else, that's entirely up to you, but you cannot drive in the Commonwealth. Okay. The second document I'm going to issue to you is an unregistered motor vehicle. Okay. Okay. The Commonwealth law indicates that in order for you to drive a vehicle on the roadways in the Commonwealth, the vehicle must be registered in the Commonwealth and or another Commonwealth and or state as prescribed by law. Okay. Based on what I see there, that is not a plate that's been issued by a federal agency, state agency, county agency, or city agency in any manner. Okay. Okay. Which tells me that that vehicle is not properly registered. Okay. Okay. Court date is June 18th, will be at 9 o'clock. Okay. The traffic court room B at this address here, right here in the city of Virginia Beach. Your signature is required right there. Okay. Your signature is not a mission of guilt. It just simply states you understand what the summons is being issued for. This block right underneath is checked, which indicates you can prepay this if you choose to do so. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to allow that. I'm going to require you to respond to the court and address the court as to why you choose to drive a vehicle on the Commonwealth without the proper documentation. Okay. And then that yes, document sir. that you served to me, which means that document is now my property and is evidence of the Commonwealth, okay. because you represent that to be your true documentation, correct? Okay. Yes, sir. The driver's license that you have copied, which was previously issued to you by the Commonwealth, where is that document this time, sir? I'm not sure where it is at this time. Okay. This brings us to the notification of suspension, okay? Based on you telling me you don't know where your license is at at this time, that's the block I'm going to check. Okay. okay? And I will give you a copy of this form. The original form will be returned to the DMV, and they will sort of do notice on you as it's required. Okay. So you're going to confiscate the other document that I let yes, you read? Right. That okay. Becomes, that becomes a state document. Okay. Because you're representing yourself as an individual. Okay. No party of the government. Okay. Right? Well, no, I'm is a citizen. That, is that? No, it's not. A, it's not one of those sovereign things. This is all lawful. This has to do with the federal, federal uh, Supreme Court cases that have been heard. Okay. Um, it has nothing to do with you comply with the Commonwealth law. Well, the the Constitution. Of, well, I, I'll, I'll talk to the judge about okay. it. I mean, right. I, I don't want to try to you know argue okay. with these guys. Where, I know you're trying your to do your address? Do you have insurance on that vehicle as required by Commonwealth law? Um, the, it's it's just a car. It's, it's not anything that would be uh, falling into the purview of the motor vehicle code. So you're telling me that if you operate a vehicle that belongs to you in the Commonwealth, you're not required, as every other citizen, to have it properly registered in George? Um, you familiar with farmers tax? Mm -hmm. Farmers tax? Yes, sir. It's kind of a similar principle. It's a private automobile. Okay. Um, it's not used for commerce. It's only used for travel. Um, I don't use it for employee on the roads. Um, you know, the Supreme Court cases, I mean, if you read this... you tell me that's a farm vehicle? No, I'm not. I'm just saying it's a similar thing. It either is or it is not farm equipment because under Virginia state law, certain vehicles that are not exactly exclusively farm equipment can be exempt from having a tag, such as uh, SUVs and certain types of pickup trucks. But they also have to meet a certain set of requirements as well. And, uh, well, your Mustang does not exactly meet any of those requirements to be farm equipment. And there are no other laws in the state of Virginia that would allow your Mustang to be exempt from the law that everybody else has to follow. But somehow, you think you're above. In commerce, yes. He's engaged in commerce. Yes. Which means it has to be insured. Yes, but I'm, I'm not involved in uh, commerce. I'm just traveling. I appreciate you guys uh, treating me professionally and giving me the opportunity to go to court for this. No reason to treat you otherwise, right? Well, I'm just saying I appreciate it. What year was that motor vehicle? Um, the car is a 2004 okay. Mustang. Right, we're going to take a closer look at your vehicle and see if we can find an appropriate VIN plate on it. Okay. Can I find is that something I can retrieve for you real quick? You should be able to open up the door and look right at it and see if it's there. Yeah, well, I mean, that way you wouldn't have to get in the rain. I'll, I'll retrieve the information myself and make sure it's true and accurate. Okay. Okay. Anything else in that vehicle I need to concern with other than the sidearm that you have? Uh, no, sir. I don't consent to a search of the I'm vehicle. I'm just letting you know because if, if anything that's in there, I want to make sure that it's not something 
Booby trap? Oh, no, there's nothing like that. There's nothing that's dangerous. You have no electronic devices on you to set something off in that vehicle? No, there's okay. nothing dangerous you about any officer, okay? Okay. Well, my uh, my doors are locked. Okay. You got a power lock? Um, no, I don't. Okay. Um, like I said, I don't consent to I'm you opening the car. Vehicle, sir. I'm okay. The door jam. Like I said, when you, when you took the time to block that vent plate, all right, which means I cannot read it through the windshield, I have a right to enter that vehicle to retrieve a VIN number, whether it be in the door or in the engine compartment. Well, I'm, I'm not arguing with anything you're going to do. I'm just telling you I don't consent. That, that's all I'm saying. All right. Okay. You ever come across a right to travel yet? Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely nothing to come across every day. Okay, yeah, why well, I didn't think so. Yeah. Did uh, you get a chance to read the paperwork? No, I have no, I'm just helping him out. Okay. I, I, I haven't read anything. Have you read any of the Supreme Court cases that have to do with the right of a citizen to travel? Yeah, I don't think you've read anything at all, because if you'd actually read some of those Supreme Court rulings, they probably don't say what you think they say. You've probably just found some uh, nugget that you quote mind out of there just to fit your narrative, or you uh, listen to some other soft tart who decided to quote mind for you. Because, you know, that's how the you guys operate. You operate within an echo chamber, quoting each other and not bothering to take into consideration anything of uh, actual value, such as the Tenth Amendment, per se, which grants the states the rights to create the motor vehicle laws that you claim don't exist. And if you would actually pull your head out of your ass and take a look at the actual rulings, you would understand that is the case. Oh, we need to notify about some of this. Right. right. Oh, I guess the VIN number is printed on the sticker. Yeah. Right inside the door jam. Okay. okay. How long have you been a separate entity for the government? Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm still a citizen. Uh, I'm an American patriot. But, um, this doesn't have anything to do with me revoking. I, I think you're talking about the sovereign thing that well, people I, try to claim. Right. Um, but I've, I've been, uh, I mean, I've been studying law for about three years. Anytime I hear that, I have got to ask, what laws have you been studying? Have you been studying actual U.S. laws, which makes me think that uh, based on your answers, you have not? Or have you been studying uh, the BS coming out of the soft hard gurus over the Internet? Which, if that's the case, then you haven't been actually studying law. You've just been heading down a path of stupidity. Okay, now that I have first-hand knowledge of your vehicle, indicating that it's not on record in the Commonwealth, and you're not displaying tag from any other Commonwealth or state in our jurisdiction, as I previously told you, that if I see your vehicle operator on the motorway, i.e. the highway, I will stop you and I will seize your vehicle. Okay. You comply with the Commonwealth law. Okay, which one is to have the vehicle properly registered, two, to have it inspected, three, to have it insured. Okay. Okay. Also, I will publish that same notification to our agency indicating the same, that the same could be happening as but I'm now knowing the other day, he seems to be operating, correct? He will pull you over and do the same because you're not complying with the law. Okay. Because you choose not to comply with the Commonwealth law. Okay. Which means that you have no desire to comply. Okay, that's uh, right. And, and you know, it doesn't matter you about any of that. Until you're satisfied. So you yeah. always confiscate the car even before I had a chance to go to court to determine whether yes, or not sir. I was guilty. Remove it from the motorway because you have no right to be on the motorway as everybody else who is properly found guilty. Yeah, mm -hmm. even the matter, sir. Okay. Okay. The court will determine as to whether or not to return that to you. Okay, and then if, if I was found not guilty by the courts, would you all be okay with it after that? Okay. Okay. The facilitators of the paperwork. Okay. Okay. You have any right. questions for me, sir? Um, I mean, can I go home? You can go home, but don't put your car on the roadway. Well, I mean, can I, can I take it home? No, I'm not driving it, no, sir. I can have it towed home. I can have it towed home? Yes, sir. 
Okay, so I have to have it towed from where it's at? From where it's at. Okay, so can I sit in it out of the rain until the, the tow vehicle gets here? You will certainly can. Okay, well, thank you, gentlemen. Object that. Have you too? Alright, guys. Have a good one. Take care. Okay, so we're going to Please, you're telling me at this time that if I try to travel in my car to get home, that they will seize my car. They will steal it from me, um, which is mighty unfortunate. Um, he gave me he gave me a notice of suspension, but the only thing that he cited me for was unregistered motor vehicle, which uh, I, I told him it was just a car, um, and the officer said that it didn't matter, even though I hadn't been found guilty. You gotta go to trial first before you can be found guilty or innocent. So, which makes me think that you haven't actually been studying law whatsoever based upon this little comment. You've been following the soft hard gurus, which is a bad idea to begin with, considering that you're going to get bad information. Um, and that it was private property, um, so they're not worried about the Constitution of the United States of America being uh, the supreme law. And that's where the video ends, and he uh, leaves us off on a note of his complete misunderstanding of how the Constitution works, considering that he just spouted off that it's the supreme law of the land without any understanding that there are exceptions to it, including the Tenth Amendment, which grants the states the right to make create laws that are not covered within the Constitution, because you know what? The Constitution was written in a specific time period that uh, they didn't account for everything that would happen. Well, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.